Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are getting a custom chain made at a local shop here that they go through a lot of chainsaw chain here, so they buy by the reel or a spool of chain and he ends up cutting his own chains for whatever length he needs for whatever particular saw he's replacing the chain on. So uh, what we have to do is count our drive links on the old chain and we already know that that's uh, 68 links. So we have to pull the spool out of the box and run run it out and we'll use this scale here and that'll tell us exactly what we need to where we need to cut. I've got a glare there. So that'll tell us what we need to do for which rivet to punch. I'm just going to pop the other side here. You need 68? 68. 68 there. So which rivet do we have to cut? You have to cut this link off here. Perfect. Okay, so those are the two rivets we're going to punch out. We're going to do that using these tools. That's our puncher, and that's our spinner. So we're going to set it in the, what's that, what's that called, the it's anvil? anvil. Okay. And that's an adjustable one. I've seen ones before that are, a, it's a one-piece block with a bunch of different slots in it for different, what, pitch chains? Right. Yep. This one's just adjustable. It does all of them. Is that, will that do the 404s? does all of them. Okay. I'm not cooperating today. <laughs> that and it's freezing cold in here. Our fingers don't work very well. Got to center it in the rivet as close as possible to center. We're going to give this rivet here a headache, too. <laughs> A new drive link here to join these together. Uh, connector links, right? Yep. They have to go on a certain way. There is a top and a bottom, and they have to go on the correct way. So that's the orientation they need to be in. This will be the, the top where the teeth are. This will be where the bar goes. That convex area at the bottom, that's that's what needs to go down. Some of them either, they'll either have a like a hump like that, or sometimes you'll see like a rectangular notch cut out of them. And the same with this one here. I <laughs> got the camera right on top of you. I guess I didn't need the wide angle lens for this. <laughs> Cold fingers. <laughs> Not gold fingers, cold fingers. If this was for you, I'd play a dirty trick and put this link on backwards, but that would not be we're good. not going to do that. This time. This time. There we go. Now we're going to put this in a spinner, a rivet spinner. It's cold in here. I know. My fingers are freezing. We have company. Uh oh. Supervisor's here. We have company. <laughs> and just spin that as we tighten that rivet. So this side here puts the pressure on the rivet and that side spins the head flat. as you're spinning, you're gradually increasing the pressure on the handle. We make sure that these two times are close together. Now 
I would have just ordered one of these chains from the one of my suppliers, but they didn't have this uh, pitch gauge and drive length chain that I needed. I needed 68 links, and they didn't have 68 links. So and there you go. There we go. So that's uh, basically it, a custom chain. It moves nice and easy. Yeah. After you spin those rivets, got to make sure that they move nice and free. There we go. Perfect. There we go. One of two custom chains made. Of course, we practiced on the first one first. We didn't want to look like monkeys on video. <laughs> so we made sure we went through the motions on the first one. But I think we should have done the first one on video because now our hands now are cold see. and it was harder. Yes, they're the same length. Yep, what? good enough. All right, guys, thanks for joining me on this video. Spinner, breaker. I might have to invest in some. We'll depend. It, that'll depend on how many chains I have to make. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Give that uh, bell a little dingle. It'll notify you when I upload new videos. Oh, that's not going to work nice. <laughs> Till the next one, guys. Thanks again, and take care.